Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today I'm going to show you some really cool ways of editing pictures in Dolly using inpainting. So the way that this works is if you have a picture that you take, I took this picture a couple months ago, um, you can kind of use Dolly to add things to the picture uh, in the background. I like to do this with nature pictures because you can kind of create different landscapes that aren't really there. So this is what Dolly turned that picture into. If you zoom in, you can see this is kind of where the original picture was. And then um, you can see the quality kind of drops off after this box over here and it gets a little, you know, random. Um, it's also, I don't really know where this came from, but yeah, it's not perfect, but it's really cool. And so we'll do it with two pictures today. Um, one of them is this one and the other one is this one just to kind of showcase uh, different landscapes. So the first thing that I like to do is I open Photoshop and I'm going to drag the first picture in. Once your image is in Photoshop, I go to canvas size and we're going to stretch out this image to be about 200% of what it normally is. And it's going to turn into something like this. And so this whole blue area is going to get kind of uh, guessed by Dolly. And so you don't really have to worry about this color because we're going to be erasing it anyway. So let's go back into the editor. So in Dolly, when you upload your image, it will ask you to crop out an area of it. So since we already expanded it pretty big, this doesn't really matter. And then once we cropped it, we're going to edit it. And so this tool is going to let you uh, delete parts of your picture. You can make it big, small, doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the whole outside area of this pretty easily and then we'll narrow down uh, with a little smaller tool and kind of get around the edges here I am going to take off a little bit of the picture because I'd rather cut off a little bit more than to have that uh, blue kind of get stained in the picture um, and then once we're done with this we're going to add some kind of creative prompt about what you want to fill in the rest of it so I kind of want to keep the theme going with the nice resort looking picture so I'm going to say a sunny beach resort with a crystal clear pool. Let's do that. Um, let's do a beautiful sunny beach resort. I'm not really sure if that's going to change anything. Um, and then you generate. So now we have our original picture here and then the beautiful pictures that Dolly has created. Um, you could kind of tell the rectangle, the original rectangle, because you can see where the picture quality kind of uh, goes out. Um, but it's not too bad, and it really makes some pretty cool designs. I'm not really sure what this thing is or how that could be in a pool. But um, yeah, like this is actually pretty amazing where you see these trees kind of get mirrored from here. The palm trees get a little faded out, and then this uh, weird looking tree and cabana area just kind of gets extrapolated from the rest of the picture. But it's still really, really cool. I'd say this is an amazing result. This one's also great. Um, not sure what that is, but like you have, you know, a beautiful looking pool and then you have the palm tree that got generated and then yeah, super, super cool. Also the reflections get pretty accurately placed in the water um, to, for the most part at least, it doesn't look too fake, but you could see like, well, this, this is the original tree, but you could see some kind of shadow over here and yeah, those were the three. So this, I would say it did a pretty good job and you can kind of see if I go through them quickly, the differences between the original and the new ones. And they do a pretty good job of, of creating something that's not there. Like, especially if you look up here at this palm tree, you can see that it, it looks very convincing. So pretty cool way to upscale your pictures. And then you can use this and move it into a photo, um, like a pixel AI kind of generator to increase the pixels on the picture. And you can create something that really is out of nothing. And so let's go ahead and do the other picture as a second example. And I'll see you back in a sec. So we're going to do something a little different with this one. This is assuming that you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to expand your picture. We are going to try to add some kind of image over here. Uh, we could see we have a house here and then we have like the gate. But so let's move this over here and let's crop this and we'll edit the image. So let's try to add a let's say a how not a house, a garage, a garage to park the car. So we could do that. In this whole area, we'll delete this and see what it could do. I'm going to delete the tree too in case it wants to do stuff in the sky. And we'll see what it does. 
And just like that, Dolly has created a really cool garage that you'd probably not pay for if someone designed something like this. But regardless, um, pretty cool, even though the garage goes halfway off of the driveway. Um, still super cool that it kind of keeps that same-ish theme. You have that tree, you have the same kind of new spring where the leaves are coming back kind of vibe to the picture. Here's another one where you have boats that are just, I think these are boats parked on concrete. Um, pretty cool. Um, really, really cool. And it even tried to generate that, that pillar again with some other things that don't really make sense. But um, yeah, I'd say this one doesn't really work that well because you don't really see, you could see something veering off into the distance. But um, yeah, I would say my favorite one is probably this one with the lopsided garage, but still it does a pretty great job at, at really making things from an image. Like this is a really well-designed, you know, curve of the road with the same shadows of these trees that are landing here. Um, really, really cool. So as an added bonus, what we're also going to test today is generating variations of an image with Dolly. So this is some picture I took of fall. I think it's a pretty good one to use because you have the colors and things are kind of popping out. And so I think it's going to be a little bit easier for Dolly to create different generations, uh, different yeah, versions of the picture. So same thing, we're going to add it to Dolly and we are going to try to crop this. Let's do, let's do that. We'll keep this big tree in it. And then instead of editing the image, we're just going to generate variations and let's see what Dolly comes up with. Okay, so Dolly came up with some really interesting variations. This is like a, looks like a Tesla Cybertruck, but like a sedan. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. I, I would say I wouldn't really use these. The colors are right, but the way that it generated the cars are really weird and they kind of look like not good. Um, it, it sucks that you can't use the same prompt and be like, um, you know, a nice fall day on a road because uh, where you could say 4K award-winning realistic picture. You can't really do that for this, which is why the, the variations thing is a little different. Um, but if we wanted to, it'd be really cool if we could combine the best of both worlds where we could upload a picture and then add a new prompt to it and generate variations based on the original picture that we put in plus the prompt that we want it to look like. That'd be pretty cool, but um, who knows? Maybe that'll come out in the future. So the generate variations still looks pretty cool. This is kind of a, a cool abstract picture, but I, would, I think this looks more um, appealing as maybe like digital art as opposed to something that you're trying to make look realistic. But other than that, Dolly's still extremely impressive. You have tons of capabilities and what you can do with the software. Really cool pictures, and you can really create anything. So if you haven't checked out Dolly by OpenAI, I recommend checking out Dolly 2. Um, OpenAI also has a subsidized artist assistance program where if prompts get a little too costly, you can apply for if you are an artist and they can possibly give you some additional credits. So pretty cool, and thanks for watching.